Craig's loading up the truck. He's headed out of town. Another duck season has finally rolled around. Well, he's hunted across this country, made a lot of friends. And the one thing they love most is chasing the duck hunter's dream. Yes, fly. Flyway Highway, presented by the Remington Arms Company. Great guns deserve great ammunition. We make both. Also brought to you by Bradley Smokers. Smoke them. Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. And waterfowl waiting systems. Quality and innovation taken to the extreme. Now let's join Craig on the road. On this week's episode of the Flyway Highway, I'm in the Dakotas, right in the middle of the Prairie Pothole region. This region's landscape is dotted with thousands of small lakes and ponds where migratory waterfowl nest and breed in the abundant grasslands. They call this region the Duck Factory. That's why it's an important stop for me on the Flyway Highway. Hey, it's day one of my North Dakota hunt with Rolling Plains Adventures. Now I have Jeremy and Jay Doan here. Jeremy, tell our viewers a little bit about our setup. Uh, well, we're running three dozen ducks out here on our spread. The ducks have been coming in pretty frequently this week, so hopefully it's going to be a good shoot today. Yeah, I hope so. Now I haven't been to North Dakota in a couple of years. I'm really looking forward to it. You guys ready to shoot some birds on the oh, Flyway Highway? I'm pumped. All right, let's hunker down and get to it. Let's do it. Take them. Get him, Jeremy. Get him. Oh, nice. Hey, Jay backed you up on that one, huh? I didn't need I, the help. I think your brother beat you to the draw. He dumped that nice green head. Woo, boy, that's going to be a pretty bird. I'll have to, I'll, I'll go out and get that in a minute. But, Jeremy, explain to the viewers the limit here uh, for ducks in North Dakota. Well, we just got a mallard there. The limit's actually five mallards, uh, which uh, two of which can be hens. And then we can get two redheads, uh, two pintails, and uh, one canvas back. Oh, right on. Well, hopefully we'll rack up our limits here this morning and uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, you know, I got a surprise for you guys tonight. I got my Bradley smoker along with me. Uh, we're going to breast out these ducks when we get in. We're going to have smoked duck tonight for dinner. Oh. You're going to love it, man. It is delicious on the old Bradley. It's, have you ever had smoked duck? <laughs> no. Oh, Sounds you're in, good. you are in for a culinary treat, I promise you. <laughs> Get him, get him. All right, <laughs> nice. Nice shot. Hey, they worked right in. Boy, I'll tell you what, I got that one with the eel tick, Jeremy. Get oh, right on them. What exactly is that, Craig? Well, it's a tubeless red dot, uh, red dot site. It's a holographic weapon site, actually, like a, a heads up display on a jet fighter. I've been using it for several seasons on the Flyway Highway. I, I like it because, you know, I'm cross eye dominant and I can keep both eyes open. I just put the illuminated dot reticle on the bird 
pull away for the lead. And as you just saw, I got <laughs> right mine. I should talk about my, my setup here. This is, as you know, it's my Remington Versa Max. I've been using it all season on the Flyway Highway. I love shooting this gun. It cycles any load. I mean, anywhere, anytime. And the reason is it's got a Versa Port gas operating system. And basically what that means is it, it regulates cycling pressure based on shell length. It's very smooth shooting, has a low felt recoil. Uh, got the EOTech on top and of course my comb riser so I can get my, my cheek up, my eye level to the proper height with my optics. You need that whether you're shooting an EOTech or a scope on a gun or whatever, you need a, you need a comb riser. And then this, you guys see this thing here? Yeah. This is my rifle cam. It's a high definition camcorder on the barrel of my gun. I get 720p high definition down the you know the, the barrel the barrel view and that's really neat if you guys like uh, you know showing your kill shots and putting them on YouTube for your buddies or whatnot this rifle cam is really cool it it just snaps right on there and takes outstanding video <laughs> so so we'll see how that we'll back at the lodge tonight we'll see how that one look because it dropped oh perfect. I'm excited to see the yeah that'll be really cool now Jeremy tell our viewers a little bit about your ranch this is Black Leg Ranch here in North Dakota ten thousand acres right oh yes and yes this is all this is your family spread right I'm the fifth generation along with my brother here uh, our ranch has been in operation since 1882 one of the we're one of the oldest working cattle ranches in the state still in operation no kidding wow now in addition to Rolling Plains Adventures for the, the the duck hunting here and the pheasant hunting, what else do you do with the ranch? Uh, we're actually doing international uh, ranch vacations here as well. We do horseback riding, cattle drives, uh, corporate retreats, all sorts of different events, um, maybe even weddings now. No kidding, so somebody can come out here any time of the year and enjoy the ranch. <laughs> On this week's Lentz Truck Upgrade segment, I'm with Brian Lentz at Lentz Truck Center, America's leading used truck dealer. Brian, what have you done to our duck truck this week? We've added some quality truck accessories from DZ. Awesome, let's take a look. The first item is DZ's NXT running boards. They're constructed of lightweight aluminum with a powder coat finish. Raised rubber grommets ensure solid footing and traction and give these running boards a stylish appearance. They're also easy to install with no drilling required. Next is a bull bar. The three inch steel tubing creates a strong but subtle appearance. Polished stainless steel provides strength and durability. It comes with a removable skid plate and has factory drilled holes if you want to add lights. Quick no drill installation is another great feature. Now on the bed of the truck, Brian's added a DZ utility chest, dog chest, and tailgate assist. The two chests are made of heavy duty bright tread aluminum. The utility chest has a crown style lid, lockable handles, gas shocks, and a removable tool tray. The dog chest has smooth edges, a vented door with rubber gasket, and a high quality latch. Finally, our DZ tailgate assist safely controls the drop of your truck's tailgate. It's a great item. Hey, for more information on the DZ products Brian's put on our truck this week, go to the DZ website or the Flyway Highway website. And remember, you can buy this truck from Brian once we're done decking it out. Just go to LentzAuto.com for more details. How many rounds can you feed through a Remington Versamax before it malfunctions? We'll let you know when we get there. With Versaport gas technology, the Versamax reliably cycles pretty much any 12-gauge round. Remington Versamax. Any load, anywhere, every time. Because when versatility meets reliability, it's game over. Remington. One moment, one shot. Bring out the flavor and bring out the fun with a Bradley smoker. You can smoke or slow cook any meat, seafood or cheeses. Endless possibilities. Your food will always come out of the smoke, plump, juicy and bursting with delicious flavor. Your guests won't be able to resist. Bradley smokers, all about the flavor. This segment of Flyway Highway is brought to you by EOTech Holographic Weapon Sights. Change the game with EOTech. Lenver.
Here. All right, you got one. This is what we're after. A North Dakota rooster. Now that that's a young rooster, huh? Oh, that's that's pretty young. Well, this hey, year's bird. Yeah, well that's what it's all about. Now, you know, I'm sure most of you, myself included, when you think of pheasant hunting the Dakotas, you think of South Dakota. But you know, North Dakota has some fantastic pheasant hunting. And here at Rolling Plains Adventures, not only can you shoot the waterfowl, the ducks and the geese, you can also shoot pheasants, right? That's right. Yep. Yeah, as as we just did. Now um, Jay, tell us a little bit about your ranch in terms of what you offer for the pheasant hunt. Like, how much land do you have set aside for the, the upland birds? Well, we farm uh, about 10,000 or uh, about a thousand acres cropland. We have cover crop with ten different varieties of crop inside that uh, that mixture. So pheasants love it. We have switchgrass that uh, we have set aside. It's native to North Dakota. That's where the pheasants roost. Uh -huh. So they'll feed in this cropland. We have corn, wheat cover crop and then uh, they'll roost in the CRP so yeah a little bit of everything and you know this is real pheasant hunt this is not game farm pheasant hunt this is you're busting the brush these are wild birds they run they're wary they fly fast and it's uh, a lot of fun yeah you made a good shot there hey you know what I'm thinking Jay I'm thinking smoked pheasant with our smoked duck tonight boy that sounds good. yeah my Bradley's a fiber rack we got plenty of room for all this meat so uh what do you say we try to get another one hey let's, let's do it let's get a nice mature rooster yeah I let's get a, do it okay. we'll get back out there hot boys all right let's, let's do, do it all right find a bird find a bird there's one in there find a bird got it Oh. All right, get it. Bring it here, Bailey. All right, good girl. There's a nice rooster. Yeah. That's good what we're girl. after, Bailey. Here, show that to the camera, Jay. <laughs> That's a nice rooster. Look at that. Yeah, that is what we're after there. That's a beautiful rooster. Yes, now it we, is. Uh, we switch fields. We're actually right across the street from the lodge, which is great. I mean, you can come here and literally walk out your, your the front door of the lodge and, and shoot these beautiful North Dakota roosters. Look at that. A lot Woo. better than the first one there. What's that? So that's a lot better than the oh, first yeah, one. Oh, yeah, that was a very young rooster, the <laughs> first one. Now, what's the limit on pheasants in North Dakota, Jay? In North Dakota, you can get three roosters. You uh -huh. can't shoot hens uh, because they're wild birds here, but right. three roosters. Per day. Yeah, exactly. Per hunter here. So. All right. Well, that was a good shot, and uh, we got another one for the smoker. This guy's not about done, but uh, <laughs> well, let's try to get one more. Let's you get bet. our limit and let's get on in and get the smoker going. All right. Sounds good. Over here. Come on. Hey, I'm here with Wade Bradley at Bradley Smoker, and today we're going to show you how to smoke and cook duck and geese. Wade. Thanks, Craig. We have some fresh geese and duck breasts that we just brined up and we're going to load them up in our fully automatic hot or cold food smoker. Well, let's do it. Open the door here. Now, this is the four rack model, Wade, correct? It is. We also have a six rack, but this is our premier and ideal product for out in the field. And very easy to use. It's basically a set it and forget it device. We're loading up these racks. Boy, they look good, Wade. I tell you, I love shooting duck and geese on the Flyway Highway. And man, I really love eating them, especially on this Bradley smoker. Okay, now what's the next step? Well, we're going to uh, demonstrate how the machine works. And uh, it burns one of these biscuits once every 20 minutes, and then the uh, old biscuit is extinguished in the pot of water. All right. And now the biscuits come in different flavors, correct? They do. Presently, we're using a whiskey oak. comes from the old barrels that they make uh, whiskey and bourbon out of in North America. Oh, sounds good. Now the control panel, explain how that works. Right here on this side, we're going to control the temperature of the oven. So we're going to set it for about 220 degrees. Right there, time. We're going to want to smoke for about four hours. And uh, over here is your smoke time. And let's say we're going to smoke for three hours on this one. A little okay. heavy on the smoke? Right. Okay. Good. I like a smoky flavor. And that's it. Get the door closed and we're ready to go. So in about four or five hours, it's bon appetit. You bet. Sounds good. EOTech Holographic Weapon Sights. Accelerate your advantage. 
You know, I love hunting ducks out on the Flyway Highway. I also love eating them, especially on my Bradley Digital Smoker. This smoker is so simple to use. You just set the oven temp and time and the smoke time and the Bradley does the rest. Which gives me a couple of hours to lean back, relax, and dream about those ducks. <laughs> oh, that was a weird one. Bradley Smokers. Smoke them. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Real Geese Silhouette Decoys. Oh, hey, I got one. I got one, Captain Dave. Holy smokes, look at this. Woo! Ooh, that looks oh. like a, ooh, I just caught my first North Dakota walleye. I'm going to bring this other line in. Yeah, strike, hey, Captain Dave, this, one's, this one feels kind of fat. We're out here on the Missouri River now. We took a little break from the uh, waterfall and pheasant hunting. And holy smokes, Captain Dave, look at this. I got oh, a big eye get to that. here. Get to that. Yeah, get that net. Ooh. You got him? Oh, that's a, holy that's a, oh, cow. That's a, that's nice a nice fish. walleye. Nice Look fish. at that. Oh, wow. Here's a crank. Get the crank. Oh, get Let me the... get that crank stuck out of there. Holy smokes. Look at this. Now, we're out here. This is, uh, I'm with Captain Dave. Captain Dave, introduce yourself to our viewers. Dave Cap Winbauer, Bismarck, North Dakota. That's right. And we're out here in... Uh, with Deer... rolling, we're out here with Rolling Plains Adventures. Yep. And uh, I just caught my first North Dakota walleye. And I'll tell you what. Now, I'm from the... I'm from Wisconsin, and I do quite a bit of walleye fishing, but this is a this is one heck of a walleye. You don't get a lot of these where I fish from. Holy cow! Look, Look at, at the shoulders thing. on them. Let's measure them. Outstanding. Let's measure them. I'm going to guess about 22, Captain Dave. Yeah. Wow! Look at that. Out here on the Missouri River. I've never been on the Missouri River. Out here with Captain Dave. What's the name of your outfit and operation again? Rolling Rolling Plains Adventures. Rolling Plains yeah. Adventures. Same McKenzie, name North Dakota. Right. Nice. 20, 23 inches. I was off by an inch. But hey, that's a that's a nice walleye. Look at that. Sweet. Never been on the Missouri River. This is very cool. Lewis and Clark floated down this a while ago, didn't they? Yes, they did. Yeah. It was Sacagawea. Correct. This is the Lewis and Clark Trail. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Very neat. Of course, it probably looked a little different. Uh, couple hundred years ago when they did it, uh, there's probably a 10 million buffalo on these banks and grizzly bear and everything else, huh? Well, that and and that and they, it, it wasn't there wasn't structure like this. It was called the Big Muddy back then. Oh, really? Uh, because be, when they when they built the dam, it was totally different when they built the dam in the 50s on Sakakawea and created uh -huh. Lake Sakakawea. This just used to be a big, wide. Actually, the original bank of the river, you're looking at it. Oh, that, no kidding. That, that cut bank. Yeah. That cliff, and this was, it was all just a big, flat, wide, muddy Interesting. brick, it almost looked like. Yeah. It a was a river, but it just wasn't very deep.